Hi, my name's Gerald Dana Cole, and this is Crimson SIS. In this presentation, I'm going to delineate the problem that I'm trying to solve, describe my software solution, give a tour of the application, discuss some of the technologies that were employed and the testing methodologies that were utilized, and then finish up with some planned enhancements. Here's the problem. Higher education is broken. Let's start with tuition and fees at the typical private and public institution of higher learning. These have nearly doubled since 1970. Student loan debt now tops $1.7 trillion, and there's no end in sight to tuition creep. While tuition prices have gone up, salaries have remained consistent since 1990, making it ever more difficult to pay down student debt. Cumulative increases in college costs owe to increases in federally guaranteed student loans. Much like the 2008 mortgage crisis, we're on the brink of massive defaults. This has also precipitated declining standards in education and correlate grade inflation. The word on the street is student retention, but of course, retaining students translates to maintaining revenue. Since 1970, the staffing and salaries of university administrators has increased 138 percent, more than double those of teaching staff. Schools have become businesses more focused on the bottom line than on education. COVID has drawn back the curtain as well, displacing an estimated 1.3 billion learners. In 2018, Clayton Christensen predicted that half of America's colleges would close in the next 10 years but not just because of the financial crisis or pandemic. The pandemic has merely accelerated the paradigm transition from on-site to online education. Notice the turning point in March of 2020. The majority of college education is now online. On-site tuition-driven institutions are in trouble. The solution, or one possible solution, Crimson SIS. Crimson SIS is a transformative, free, open source school information system with a revolutionary embedded LMS. Here are a few of the benefits gained by virtualizing school administrative and academic functions. Imagine there were no barriers to college entry, no tests or transcripts. Imagine you could audit any high quality course or program at no charge, on site or online, in any combination. Imagine you were graded on projects, not tests. Imagine you were peer assessed and could resubmit your work repeatedly to level up your score. Imagine you had access to your courses and classmates for life, not till the end of the term. Imagine you could make varsity and division one e gaming or partake in virtual gym. Imagine you could opt in for a grade and transferable credit on course completion for only $60 at the end of the semester, not up front. Here's a quick guided tour of the application. Crimson SIS opens to a splash screen containing information about the platform. This is not merely the homepage for a school. It's a portal with access to school news, social media, including Gmail and Twitter, and help, including FAQs and contact requests. Crimson SAS uses standard social media plugins for many of its components. We don't own your data, you do. There are three classes of users, administrators, teachers, and students. I'm the super user, the highest of the admins, but everyone else who registers starts out as a student. Students get promoted to teachers or administrators accordingly by the admin. Three additional menus open on the nav bar when the admin logs in. Administrator, teacher, and student. Notice also that the user's profile picture and name appears in the welcome message. The about page only splashes for non-adopters. I have it X'd out at the top symbolically for this reason. The portal page actually becomes the home page for institutional adopters, in this case with the caption, Affordable University News. This is the third in the portal messaging and help CRM trifecta. Clicking the Create Post button allows the admin to add posts. 
clicking the article links lets you update or delete them. The administrator menu is Command Central. The two options shown here are User Settings Update, which lets the user update their login information, such as username and password, and User Profile Update, which allows them to update their contact information, bio, and profile picture. Anyone with an account can peruse all CRM, content syndication, and submission aggregation areas. To become a teacher or a student seeking credit, however, the user must furnish a profile. User Profile Detail allows all users to peruse their profile data. User Profile List allows the admin to list all user profiles in case they need to find anyone in particular for assistance. Register Catalog allows the user to view the catalog of courses, create a new course, or by clicking on the course links, update or delete a particular entry. Registrar Teacher Schedule Update allows the admin to schedule a teacher for a particular course. Registrar Teacher Schedule List allows the admin to peruse the list of all scheduled teachers in case anyone needs assistance. Registrar Student Enroll allows the registrar to enroll students in courses. It's currently modeled in Django Admin, but will be templated so that students can enroll themselves in the application. The Bursar Pay module is under development. It utilizes the Django cryptocurrency payment app. Students may opt in to pay for credit and a grade after leveling up to 90% mastery at the end of a course. In the interest of democratizing access to higher education, Crimson SAS only accepts cryptocurrencies by design. Teachers, of course, will only see CRM functions in the teacher nav bar options. The teacher roster option is modeled in Django Admin and being templated for the application. A state-of-the-art stack was utilized in the development of Crimson SIS. These include the standard HTML5, some custom CSS and JavaScript, and Bootstrap for the majority of the look and feel. I use Python for the application in the Django framework and Visual Studio Code for editing. On the back end, I'm transitioning to Postgres for production DBMS and, of course, Apache as the server. I've done some staging on Heroku as a lot of Django developers cut their teeth there and it's Django friendly. I run several sites on DigitalOcean virtual servers, however, like the ecosystem there, and will deploy the production edition to a virtual host on the platform. For testing, I employed several industry standard tools. These included Pingdom Website Speed, Wave Chrome Extension, Mobile Friendly, and of course, Django Intrinsic Tests. This iteration of the application rated a C or 75 on the Pingdom website speed test for reasons I'd anticipated. Most of the graphics are uncompressed, which I'm attending to. Django uses intrinsic URL routing, however, so I'm researching strategies to optimize performance. Predictably, the test rated poorly on this metric. The Wave Chrome extension provided useful feedback on accessibility. A number of elements lacked alt tags for screen readers, and I've cleaned up most of those. Some, however, like selects populated dynamically from a database, were unfairly tagged. Crimson SAS passed the mobile-friendly test with flying colors. I'm an ardent believer in mobile-first development anyway, and use flex responsive tools so this was a happy expected outcome. The mobile form factor is depicted in this screen capture to the far right. Finally, the Django framework contains its own intrinsic tests for benchmarking. These were used in incremental development and no module was deemed complete until it passed. The planned enhancements to Crimson SAS are part of the secret sauce. As mentioned, I'll be adding social media account creation and sign on. The real disruptor in the education market space will be Crimson LMS, an integrated LMS that can also operate as a standalone application. Here's the deal. Studies such as the seminal work by 
Daphne Kohler at Stanford, shown at right, demonstrate that novices and experts alike can deliver highly correlated assessments if provided good exemplars and rubrics. Of course, in education, the novice is the student and the teacher is the expert. In large enrollment courses entailing thousands of students, such as those conducted by Collar and myself, the scatter plots for the distributions of student and teacher grades on a given deliverable are linear. Is it a perfect correlation? No, the variance is about 5%, but that's good enough to offload the burden of grading on students. The mop-up grading required to adjudicate differences is minor. The implication of this is that we can scale course enrollments with no erosion in the quality of assessments. In fact, continuous ongoing low stakes assessment gets easier with more participants. I go so far as to advocate that in the interest of objectivity and elimination of caprice, no teacher should grade their own students. So here's how we capitalize on the use of peer assessments in practice. In Selfie View, Crimson LMS presents as a checklist. Learning activities are listed from top to bottom and clicking on a given row displays a learning object such as a reading or visual generated by an open source API or social media widget. The outcome of a prescribed learning activity is a deliverable that's automatically shared by other classmates for assessment. An exemplar and rubric is provided for each activity. The course metrics are granular. In fact, they're color-coded as shown. White, to be reviewed, red, missing, yellow, incorrect, and green, satisfactory. It's a quick, easy, accurate, and informative activity for students. Groupy View pivots the table and presents as a leaderboard. Student names are anonymized and each can view their place in the completion of assignments compared to others. This has been shown to gamify the experience, increase engagement, and motivate learning. The tables shown, in fact, are from actual courses taught by me. Scaling is a buzzword in entrepreneurship. Here's how we'll get it done with Crimson SIS. One of the mechanics I've employed is to hire course completers as expert assessors. In effect, every penny spent on tuition can be earned back by assisting future participants in the course. I've also garnered corporate sponsors. The attraction to them is the prospect of customized training for their own employees. Uh, they also benefit from co-branding. Grants are another source of revenue. Uh, but by far, content syndication via social media is the best scaling mechanic. Students encounter your courses on the net and transition to the institution in search of credit and a grade. Sal Khan refers to this as signaling. Last but not least, low cost is an inducement, especially with the prospect of ongoing tuition increases.